Welcome to WNL Sports Weekly. I'm Jeremy Franklin. This week we'll speak with women's track and field coach Dana Freeman, sophomore men's golfer Conley Hurst, and senior riding captain Stephanie Banning. But first a quick look back at the weekend in Washington Italy Athletics. The 10th ranked women's tennis team avenged an earlier loss to number 6 Carnegie Mellon, beating the visiting Tartans 5-4. The Generals also fell 7-2 to top ranked Emory over the weekend. Women's lacrosse defeated Virginia Wesleyan 11-9, while the men's team suffered a 7-6 overtime loss at Hampton Sydney. Baseball dropped both games of an ODAC doubleheader at home against Roanoke, falling 6-0 and 6-3. Competing against a primarily Division I field, men's golf came in 19th at Towson's Whiting Turner Invitational. And in track and field, Mike Agrippina finished first in the Javelin, while the women's team had five event winners at Bridgewater's Jobson Invitational. Here with me in the studio is women's track and field coach Dana Freeman. Dana, welcome back to the show. Thank you. Looking back at the winner, Washington and Lee came in second at the ODAC Championship. Dana Lee earned All-America honors in the long jump at the Division Three meet. How pleased were you with the indoor season? The women's track and field team had an incredible indoor season. Um, the ODAC Championships, the second place finish was truly a team effort and a lot of fun to be a part of at that meet. Um, at that meet, 13 individuals set personal best performances and two school records were set at that meet. Overall, the indoor season, I believe over 30 indoor PRs were set, three school records. Their hard work just paid off the indoor season. You've got a great group of seniors on your roster, led by the captains, Danny Fugate, Jillian Catterhagen, and Casey McIntosh. What has that group meant to, to you as you've gotten acclimated to the program here? Like you said, they're a great group of individuals. Um, they've certainly are examples of how hard work pays off. They've shown the underclassmen what it means to be a part of the track and field team. Um, they'll definitely be missed, but they've set a tone that's going to carry on in this program. This weekend's Liberty Invitational will be your final meet before the ODAC Championship uh, in mid-April. How important is the Liberty meet for your team? It's kind of crazy to be sitting here at the beginning of April talking about one more track meet before our conference meet. Um, it's really important that we put forth some good efforts to position us well going into the conference meet. What are the team's expectations for the ODAC Outdoor Championship? <laughs> I'm going to answer this question the same way I did indoors when sports information asked me. Um, I expect that we put our best foot forward, we compete to our potential, um, and when we do that, we'll definitely be in the battle at the top of the conference. Dana, thanks for joining us. Best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you so much. With me now is Conley Hurst, sophomore golfer from Little Rock, Arkansas. Conley, welcome to the show. Thank you. Washington and Lee has uh, played a great schedule throughout the season, going all the way back to September with the Tournament Town Championship Preview in Greensboro. You went to Texas Tyler's Tournament. This past weekend, you played in a primarily Division I field at Towson. How has that schedule prepared the Generals for the postseason? Well, anytime you post scores against good teams, I think it, it builds a lot of confidence. Um, and we, especially in the fall, we've had, we had some solid finishes, um, like at Tyler um, in a, a tournament in Georgia. Um, and I think that that's given us a lot of confidence going into the postseason and a lot of momentum. You've had a very impressive sophomore season. What has contributed to your success this year? I'd say I, I've gained a lot of confidence in my ball striking um, and in my putting, um, especially in the fall. Uh, I felt very confident around the greens and I was, I was scrambling a lot. Um, and to me, anytime you're putting well, you're going to score well. Um, that seems to echo throughout, throughout one's game. Most of the general's top competitors are first years and sophomores. With that mm -hmm. in mind, what can Washington and Lee accomplish over the next couple of seasons? Uh, I think a great deal. Um, we're, I feel like there's been a, a real influx of talent uh, this season with our freshman class. Um, and as you said, we're a very young team. Uh, and I think that as we gain more experience, playing against really good teams um, and more experience playing as a team and posting a score, uh, I think that you know, we can really set our sights on the national championship. The ODAC championship for this season is just over two weeks away. What are the keys to a good performance down in North Carolina? I'd say there are three big things, for me at least. Um, one of them is uh, having a good strategy to uh, approach the golf course with. It's a rock barns, kind of an a, kind of an awkward place. Uh, there's some awkward lines off the tees. Uh, so if you have a good strategy, I think you can pick up a lot of strokes on the field. Second is just having a good mindset going in. Um, it's three days of golf, which is 
longer than most tournaments that we play. Uh, and so staying in the moment um, is very important. And then third is putting and short game. Um, when we play well, you know, our short games are good. And so if we can, that's what we'll be working on for these two weeks leading up to it. And if we can get those solid, then I think we're going to have a good showing. Connolly, thanks for joining us. Best of luck at the ODAC Championship. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I'm joined now by Stephanie Banning, Senior Riding Captain from Bothell, Washington. Stephanie, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Washington and Lee's 2014-15 schedule has included a first place finish at Sweetbriar back in February. The team placed sixth at the regional championship a couple of weeks ago. How pleased have you been with the season so far? I've been really happy with the whole season this year. Um, we've had a few tough shows that we didn't place as well as we would have liked. Sweetbriar was a great show for us. Um, but the bad scores have just sort of, they come with the sport, with being a judge sport. But overall, everyone has been riding really, really well this year. This is your third season with the equestrian program. You've served as one of the team captains this year. What led you to take on that leadership role? I was actually my sophomore year an alternate on the team, and I still participated in everything even though it wasn't required and just loved the team so much and the, um, how well everyone works together. And it's a really fun team to be a part of and wanted to be able to contribute more to it. The ODAC Championship will take place at the Virginia Horse Center on Thursday. How exciting is it for the team to be able to host this year's conference event? It's really exciting. During the normal IHSA season, we don't get to host shows. We don't have the facilities for that. Um, so now we finally get to host our own. We're having a brunch in true WNL style. And um, it's going to be really nice that we can finally get some support from school because most of our shows are far away. Washington and Lee won the conference championship in 2014. What did the generals need to do to repeat as ODAC champions? Our coaches, Gordon and Kendall, have been really stressing consistency, that that's the key to winning, um, just being really having really consistent rides over all the jumps and keeping on practicing. It's been a long season, but the ODAC team has been practicing really hard, and I'm excited, excited to see how they do. Stephanie, thanks for joining us here. Good luck to the team at the ODAC championship. Thank you. It's time now for a look at the upcoming weekend. The riding team will host the ODAC Championship at the Virginia Horse Center on Thursday. Men's and women's track and field travel to Lynchburg for the Liberty Collegiate Invitational, which begins on Friday. On Saturday, women's tennis is at home against second-ranked Johns Hopkins. Women's lacrosse visits Guilford, and the baseball team heads to Emory & Henry for an ODAC doubleheader. Men's tennis will be on the road at Roanoke, while men's lacrosse travels to Shenandoah. And baseball is back in action for another conference twin bowl on Sunday, meeting Virginia Wesleyan at Cappendick Smith Field. For WL Sports Weekly, I'm Jeremy Franklin. Thanks for watching.